Today, we're talking about dealing with employee mistakes. I had a client who came to me and was really frustrated with the work product that he received from a subordinate. And the backstory to this is that the subordinate went off running with this project. My client kept asking, how are things going? The subordinate said, it's all, it's all going well. And by the time it was uh, time to actually see the final product, it was subpar. And the employee is going on vacation now, so won't be available to actually fix this. Um, and my client is going to have to clean up. So my client is disappointed, frustrated, and wants to know how to have a conversation with this employee about this issue. So the first thing is not to dump on the employee and not to speak with them when you're upset because um, that'll only make things worse. Second thing is just to chuck some of this up to um, life's vicissitudes. Um, you can't always um, anticipate what you will get. People make good decisions under uh, incomplete information. And so sometimes you have this situation where the product doesn't match up your expectations. But there are lessons to be learned also. So what I recommend is actually asking the employee to walk uh, you through their thought process. How come they did what they did? How come they made the decisions they made? How come they said things were going well when it doesn't seem in retrospect like they were? And it may be for very innocent reasons. So it, it may be that the employee didn't have enough context. And so this is really on the manager to say, I needed to tell you more about this so you would, you would meet the, the expectations more closely. Or it could be that the employee was cutting corners, right? So the employee had some ego issue where they didn't need any help, they wanted to do it themselves, and they didn't do the mature thing, which is to say, wait a minute, I, there's something I don't know, let me find out. There may be resources that were available that the employee didn't use, people to ask that the employee didn't check with, etc. cetera. So, uh, so those things are important to figure out because those, these are all lessons for the employee and, then could be, and the manager as well, my client. So if uh, this was an honest mistake, then the, where the employee just didn't know enough, then just figure out how to fix it, uh, chuck it up to lessons learned, and hopefully this won't be repeated again. If the employee is, uh, uh, um, has some ego issues where they try to paper over the problems and just tell the manager kind of go away, it's all going fine, but in reality it didn't, well, so then um, it's more helpful, I think, to say to the employee that this was disappointing and this is the impact it had so that this emotional impact of what they did really hits home. So it depends on the situation, it depends on the employee. If it's a sensitive employee who's, uh, who's trying to please, then that could be overwhelming and the employee might shut down. So it depends on the situation. The other thing is worth mentioning is to actually explain to the employee the expectation that you had and the result uh, that they delivered and where the gap is in your view and then ask the employee to, with, to help in fixing the gap and um, so that could be working late before they go on vacation it could be um, maybe getting some other people involved and get them to help with resolving the issue first of all uh, they're accountable for it and secondly it gives them a sense of purpose that actually they can actually do something to make the situation better so I hope that's helpful. Please share this with anyone who can use it. Let me know if you've had similar situations either as an employee or as a manager. Have a great day.